Veyron. A name associated with power. Design. Technology. And a certain historic French racing driver from Aise in the south of France. And it is right here in the south of France that the Mangusta 108 super yacht Veyron can also be seen. This yacht though is about a lot more than power, design and technology. Above all, she's about having fun. I'm convinced that sometimes the yachting industry becomes so obsessed with the, the serious business of building yachts that have more powerful engines, more advanced technology, more stunning designs, that they can forget the very reason why people buy yachts in the first place. Now, yacht owners want something to escape to, away from the serious board meetings of corporate life. They want something they can relax on. Yacht owners want something with a real fun factor. The famous and historic yacht builder Over Marine certainly never forgot about the importance of fun factor when they built Veyron. And every amp of power, every nuance of design, every advancement in technology is harnessed and employed to enhance the owner's enjoyment of the yacht. Before we look at the tremendous fun that this yacht offers though, let's take a moment to enjoy the sumptuous luxury afforded by her Italian designed interiors. Guests on board Veyron are greeted by an ambience that is fresh, modern and sophisticated. Limed oak cabinetry with polished chrome accents brush up against sofas so comfortable and inviting you'd be forgiven for spending lazy evenings right here enjoying memorable sea views from the generous windows or just watching a movie on the neatly concealed 55 inch television set. The bar at the forward end of the lounge adds a subtle touch of elegance to the scenario, as well as serving the practical purpose of ensuring that your cup never runs dry. Although the helm station forward of the bar can be hidden from sight, in truth, its clean lines and smart appearance will be an attraction to many who enjoy sinking into one of the three helm seats to take in possibly the best view in the house. And below deck, it's just remarkable how much space is available. This master stateroom, decked with precious woods and sought after fabrics, stretches across the entire beam of the yacht and is supremely well appointed, with an abundance of wardrobe space and other useful features. I have to spare a few words for the ensuite bathroom, though, exquisitely designed with rich and refined colours and materials. In contrast to many yachts, even of this size, each and every one of the four guest staterooms offer the same level of materials and design, whether it is the starboard twin cabin, the port double, or the sumptuous forward VIP stateroom. Back to the fun factor though, and I have to tell you something about Veyron which you may not know. 
Now, Mangusta built 30 of the 108 models, and as you can imagine, every time they built one, they strived to improve upon the previous one that they'd built, partly learning from each year of experience, and partly because over the years, new technology was introduced that would enhance the owner's enjoyment of his yacht. That means that hull number 30 has more bells chiming, more whistles blowing than any other Mangusta 108 ever built. And Veyron, Veyron is hull number 30. At anchor, Veyron benefits from highly sophisticated gyroscopic zero-speed stabilizers. She's the only Mangusta 108 that has these factory installed, and they dramatically reduce the rolling motion when she's stationary. And while Overmarine were pushing their personal limits to constantly improve this successful model, so too were the engine manufacturers, who fitted the latest generation MTU V16 M94 engines, each one delivering 2,360 horsepower of vibration-free energy to the Kmiwa jets more smoothly than ever before. The yacht reaches a top speed of 31 knots. So successful was this ultimate evolution of the Mangusta 108 that the owner registered her commercially, making her available for charter. And what a great charter yacht she is. The galley on board seems impossibly large for a yacht of this size and is more than sufficiently well equipped to cater for sizable groups who will delight in the finest of alfresco dining on the suggestive aft deck. It's easy to imagine the owner of this yacht and his friends enjoying soaking in the sun's rays on the forward sunbathing area before cooling down in the remarkably generous jacuzzi tub and then settling down at the table for his freshly plated foie gras and chardonnay. The aft section of Veyron though offers far more than a jacuzzi tub and dining area as smartly polished side lockers open up and hydraulic cranes extend from their depths to launch Yamaha GP1300 wave runners that will delight any water sports lover. The transom too opens up to reveal a 15 foot Castaldi jet tender and quite honestly, the space available here is more than enough for water skis, diving equipment, sea bobs, everything you can imagine to fill your days with fun and memories that will last a lifetime. Is Veyron powerful? Absolutely, yes. Is she beautifully designed? Well, look at her. She's gorgeous. Technology. She's the most technologically advanced Mangusta 108 ever built. But she's so much more than that. She's a tribute to the ability of the Overmarine shipyard to take all of those individual elements and galvanize them together into a single force that somehow is more than the sum of its parts. She is a tremendous super yacht that can gift relaxation and fun to anybody who sets foot on board her. And now she's available for sale too. Now this particular yacht is not for sale with me. She's actually represented by my colleague, Ed Dickinson, whose email address will appear on screen in a moment. So, 
If you are in a position to take advantage of such a remarkable and unique yacht coming onto the market, if you want to form precious memories that will last a lifetime and have endless amounts of fun, get in touch with Ed. He can arrange for you to come and take a look at the yacht in person. And let me tell you, if you enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy the reality a lot more.